so I've been in Volusia pretty much like my whole life. So that's why it's Rep 386, Run 386, all that. You feel me? Well, growing up, listening to music, I was very versatile, I guess you could say. Uh, I listened to like old Dusties, my grandma used to play things from like 1960s and 70s, you know, um, uh, like Garnett and Mims, you know. You know. And then my mom, she likes stuff uh, like, um, she like country music and as well as like old school pop and you know, just like the good stuff, they would call it like Michael Jackson and you know, like legends, can't really forget about those. And then uh, I grew up skating and things like that. So I had influences from like punk rock music and like other hip hop, like songs I liked old, like Wu-Tang. And I remember when MP3 players came out, like <laughs> I used to skate back with a big old um, CD player. I remember trying to find out how to hold that like how I was gonna be able to skate and make it work and then you do too much and the CD skips you know what I'm saying so when they came out with mp3s it was a real big thing like we used to like use LimeWire and other little sites and stuff and like download type music and trying to show people like oh yo I got this new Wheezy mixtape I bet you ain't heard these songs yet you know <laughs> I did not play in any bands or choir or anything like that. Um, I was honestly, I skateboarded, I played sports, and uh, my grades fluctuated, so then that kind of hindered me from certain aspects. So I kind of veered more into skateboarding, taking that more seriously during that time. And like, uh, I'd like freestyle at parties and stuff like that before I really took music seriously too. People that I was skating with, they like rap music too. And like, we'd be at parties or whatever, they'd be like, oh, you know, Swift over there, he rap, he spit, he spit, go say something, you know what I'm saying? So they kind of would hype me up. So I, I would be in the circle and we just all just busting out freestyles and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I would do a lot of times too, can be hot girls around, so, <laughs> you know, like, I just want to flex. Hey, I'm not going, I'm not going to snitch, you know what I'm saying, and name drop or anything like that, but, you know, I had a little bit of flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah they like the Swiffy. <laughs> um, I honestly want to say I think it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and then just with my twist on it, you know. Uh, I guess maybe just... The style, like uh, like I said, skateboarding and things like that, I, I kind of grew up doing that. So like, I feel like I just want to get that out there too. I made it cool for a lot of y'all rappers to dress the way y'all dressing now with the band shirts and the skinny jeans and the vans and skate shoes and stuff. Cause I remember like getting in fights with kids at school about that. Like I always had fresh stuff too. Like I had the Jordans, the latest Jordans out, my aunt or my grandma, somebody was, they swagged me up, I ain't gonna lie. Um, but it just wasn't stuff I wanted to wear all the time, you know? And uh, like I had the Bapes and all that stuff. But um, yeah, so it's kind of like I'm, I keep that influence, that punk rock skate thing I kind of kept because I really like that. Like just that rugged, like distressed look. I always really liked that. And my clothes would get it anyways from skating. So it, I would just mix that in with like maybe some designer because I really like, you know, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, uh, Ferragamo, like uh, Hermes. Like I like all that stuff. So. I mix that all in together and I feel like that's how you get me. Well, like I say, freestyling and, and vibing, like learning how to just be on spot with rapping really helped as far as like developing me, I feel like, and then just being with people that rap better than me. Like it's like sports, you hang out with people better than you, you're gonna pick something up, you know? I feel like, yeah, like the freestyling, like it really helped me be like, oh, you gotta come up with this bar quick, you know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, like being in the studio, you might have something written down and thought, damn, this is fire. Like, I think I'm riding on this. And then you say it and they're like, nah, bro, that's not it. You know what I'm saying? That's not it, chief. So then you gotta come up with something quick or somebody else gonna get on there and say something. And like, some that helps too, like I'm in a group called KPE and um, how we work is like, you know, when you get on a song nowadays, people don't want something that's more than like two and a half minutes long, three minutes tops, you're pushing it, you know? And uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, so when people want shorter songs nowadays, like, and there's a group of us, you know, we don't have enough time to, on a beat for everybody to get a verse or to get on the hook or whatever. So how we do it is pretty much like old hot boys, like you're gonna get on, whoever has the fire's verse, that's who's getting on in the song. So if you're not sliding, you ain't getting on the song. Simple as that. So I just feel like every time you gotta come with it and I'm thankful for that, you know? 
And she ain't bought her money than I'm bad for I'm bad for No baseball I can't So the first collab that I have um, That I've ever done with somebody I, I ain't gonna get into that Fuck that Scott We ain't gonna do that Cause I ain't giving no I ain't giving no free clout I ain't giving no free clout bro Hey listen Ain't no free clout I ain't giving away none of that. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? That's it. But ain't no free clout, bro. Ain't no free clout. Some more face, some more faces. Yeah. We've been taking risks and we've been dodging cases. Favorite people to rap with, my brother Flyboy the Great. All my brothers, that is in KP, Guala, Cass, Click Clack, Yonka Boy, Pablo, everybody, Dre Fresh, Manolo, like you know who he is. Everybody in KP, the mayors, um, I have my homeboy Big Slim. Pretty much like, I'm gonna be honest. I like to make music with anybody that you see me making music with, you feel me? Like, if I ain't messing with your vibe as a person, I don't wanna make music with you. It's simple. Like I know people be like, Oh, the stuff that they do outside of life, it, it doesn't matter when it comes to music, but with me, it does. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like if you're a terrible person or you're super corny, like, I don't like that, like, I'm not gonna wanna make music with you. Like, regardless, like, okay, if there's an opportunity for me to come up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Cause I just don't wanna associate it. I'm not gonna fake the funk. You gotta be smart. Gotta be smart. You flex with someone's money. I just get it myself. Get it myself. No when it myself. comes to uh, skateboarding, it definitely had like a, a big influence on what I was listening to um, and how I came up with music I would say because it's like fast-paced like on go type stuff and like the rhythms different the stuff they talk about like there's even a punk music like I don't think a lot of people know there's different genres among it you know like people think when they hear punk rock like they think like automatic maybe Green Day or some stuff like that good Charlotte you know what I'm saying but Truthfully, like those are, that's a different tear. It's kind of poppy, you know what I'm saying? My Chemical Romance is like emo stuff, but like people might think that's some like punky kind of stuff just because the way they dress and stuff, but that's not it. I grew up on like the Ramones, Sex Pistols, uh, the Misfits, you know what I'm saying? Like real, like street punk, like political punk type stuff, you know? And the stuff they talk about and uh, I was just really into and I just really liked it. I think the Ramones is one of the greatest bands of life. Like shout out to Marky Ramone. I got his autograph actually, he follows me on Instagram. I'm geeking out about it, but hey, you know, like that's just something to me that I like. I wanna collab one day. But uh, all that to the side, punk music, man, uh, skateboarding, uh, it also like just opened my ears to stuff. So I guess skateboarding really kind of made me be not so close minded about what's going on. Cause people that skated back in the day too, I think like it wasn't cool to skateboard. You know what I'm saying? Like people was looked down upon, you know, like before it was like a wave thing, you know? And um, so I kind of just learned to appreciate like people that were into the same thing. And like everybody, if, with that being said, everybody listens to different types and music and has different things that they're into so I kind of just would like give people a chance let me hear what they're talking about and be like dang I really like that and let me show you this you know them stamps got different flavors got my own so if you see a nigga high thing I like all their most songs and I feel like if anybody want to bet like what's El Ramon song tell me a lyric whatever I'm gonna tell you that I'm encyclopedia <laughs> Club, I got my own shit, my own shit. Talking about that, but I got my own shit. As far as like trick wise, like flat ground probably best trick I ever learned was like maybe like a switch tray flip, like switch 360 flip or something. Um I really was influenced my homeboy uh, Robbie Seneca like was this kid I grew up with he uh, like was a big Corey Duffel fan and uh, also into punk rock and stuff like uh, he used to do these backside flips like so clean and um, I don't know it's just like a trick that I wanted to learn and then once I learned them regular I was like oh I gotta try to switch and started doing that and it became one of my like more favorite things. So, I don't know, I had some accomplishments, you know, Nolly tray flip, Nolly lip slide on the rail. We're not gonna get into it, but if you guys wanna play skate, holla at me, Young Swift on Instagram. <laughs> the smoke, then you know where to find me. In the South, smoking.